Hey guys, Kristen here with Find Your Balance Dog Training. Um, I wanted to make another little video about some basic techniques that you guys can use at home. Um, and this one is waiting for food. So a lot of dogs get very excited at mealtime. Um, Hooch, our very silly, pushy goofball, loves to eat. He is definitely a foodie. And in the beginning, he tried to like just barge into the bowl. Um, without waiting for me to invite him to the bowl. So I always like to feed dogs in the crate. It's the safest place for the dog to eat, especially if you have kids and other pets in the home. We want the dog to be in his crate with the door closed and latched and unaccessible while he's eating. So it's just like a very general basic safety rule um, to prevent conflict over food. So Feeding in the crate also continues to reinforce a great positive association with the crate. You know, it's the place where the dog relaxes. He, um, you know, he sleeps in his crate and he also enjoys his meals and his treats, chew bones, any of that kind of stuff in the crate. Because we really want to continue um, conditioning our dogs to love this space and be super comfortable in there. So when I go to feed the dog, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the crate door. I'm gonna hold the bowl up for a couple seconds to make sure Hooch isn't coming toward the bowl. Um, and then as I lower the bowl and set it down, I'm going to watch Hooch and make sure that he's waiting. So if he like pops up, moves forward, tries to stick his nose into the bowl before I've invited him to it, I'm simply gonna pick the bowl back up. I'm going to repeat the exercise until he waits calmly. I'm looking for a little bit of courteous eye contact here too to let me know that he is staying um, more focused on my invitation than obsessing about the food. And then when all our boxes are checked for polite courteous behavior, I'm going to invite him to eat his food and then I'm going to swiftly close and latch the door. So we never want to mess around with the dog while he's eating. Don't stick your hands in there. Don't keep taking it away. There's some, you know, old wives tales about teaching a dog to um, not resource guard food by putting your hands in there and continually taking it away. That actually will have the opposite effect with some dogs, where if you continue to harass them like that, um, you'll provoke them into guarding the food. So if we have resource guarding issues, we're going to address those appropriately. We're going to apply safety protocols safety rules and then we're always going to make sure that we humans are in charge of the food um, making sure that the dog is waiting for his invitation to eat feeding in the crate and then once we invite him to the food we leave him alone to enjoy his meal in peace and quiet and just you know really get into it and dig in so i totally get hooch I too am a foodie um, and the worst thing when you enjoy really good food is somebody to be sticking their hands on your plate or like taking your food away or, or whatever. So we're not going to do any of that stuff, guys. So here we go again. As soon as I went to open the crate door, Hooch popped up and came forward. So the first thing I'm going to do is correct that. No. Do you see how that just got him to step back a little bit? If I had simp if the dog is popping up and coming forward and I don't correct it and open the door, chances are he's going to come out and dive in the food. So don't rush this stuff, guys. Make sure you're addressing every moment and ensuring that the dog is being courteous and polite in every moment before you move on to the next moment. So here we go. I like to hold the bowl up for a second, see what he's going to give me. Hooch gave me, I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see better. Hooch gave me a nice little sit which is very lovely, very courteous. So I'm gonna lower the bowl. Nope, do you see how he immediately came forward and tried to dig in? I'm simply gonna raise the bowl and say no. Nope, he did it again. This time he stayed put. Nope, till the last second. So we're gonna do that again. And I'm just gonna pause here and wait for a little bit of that courteous eye contact. And as soon as I get it, I'm gonna give him the release command to go ahead and enjoy his meal. Good, break, go ahead.
So the dogs that are like really into their food, this is a wonderful exercise to really work on their impulse control if we approach it the right way in that we're always being fair to them, meaning, you know, we do have some rules and boundaries here. You must be polite. You must be courteous. But then when I invite you to your food, I'm just going to completely leave you alone to enjoy it. So Kilo is a different dog. Um, than Hooch. He certainly enjoys his food, but he's nowhere near as food motivated as Hooch. Um, and it's much easier for him to use his in impulse control and weight, as you'll see. So when I opened the door with Kilo, I didn't have any of that popping up or coming forward stuff until I started talking. <laughs> um, because he's just not as food driven as what um, Hooch is. So I'm gonna repeat the same exercise though and expect uh, Kilo to still be courteous, but you're gonna see that Kilo isn't as intense about it as Hooch is. Nope. Good, break.